Hello everyone. Myself Asraf Ansari. Uh, today I am going to explain about sedimentation. Today I am going to explain within these contents that is introduction part, theory of sedimentation, types, properties, design contents and working principle. Let us proceed the introduction part of the sedimentation. So what is sedimentation? Sedimentation is nothing but the process of settling or being deposited as a sediment. It is a physical water treatment process where the suspended particle in water uh, is removed under the gravity. Uh, here during sedimentation process water has little or no movement and suspended solids sinks to the bottom under the force of gravity and form a sediment and hence the process termed as sedimentation. Here the figure shows the sedimentation of the impure water that is the water contains some suspended particles which get deposited at the bottom of the tank by taking some amount of time. Here the sedimentation tank is may be divided into two parts. First part is quiescent type and second part is continuous type. In first type it has detention time of 24 hours and cleaning interval is 8 to 12 hours. And also the tank is designed in such a way that to produce maximum flow. And the another part is continuous type. Here the continuous type is further divided into two parts that is horizontal flow tank and vertical flow tank. Horizontal flow tank is nothing but uh, it is in a rectangular shape. Here uh, in horizontal flow tank uh, the particle is removed when it reaches the bottom of settling tank and the concentration of suspended particle of each size is same at all vertical cross section and also particle having settling velocity greater than overflow rate then what happened here the sediments get completely removed and if the particle having settling velocity less than overflow rate then uh, it not get completely removed and the other part of continuous type is vertical flow tank which is nothing but the circular tank and it is not widely used. Now the purpose of sedimentation means needs of sedimentation. Need of sedimentation includes to remove coarse dispersed phase that is sand, silt, grit, clay, etc. Also to remove coagulated and flocculated impurities. Coagulation product include alum, coppers, chlorinated coppers, lime, sodium, carbonates. Also the flocculants includes low medium and high molecular weight polymer. Also it is used to remove the precipitate, precipitated impurities after chemical treatment of the water. Theory of sedimentation Theory of sedimentation includes the particles which are present in water, which may be heavier or lighter, may settle down naturally under the action of gravity. Here uh, in organic suspended particles, the specific gravity is 2.65 and organic suspended particle a specific gravity is 1.04 and the phenomena of settling down of the particles at the bottom of the tank is known as hydraulic subsidence. Now type of sedimentation, uh, plain sedimentation here uh, the water is leave alone in a sedimentation tank uh, by a specified period of time which is known as detention time and uh, because of uh, a specified period of time the impurities or the suspended particle present in it may settle down under the gravity and here no chemical is added. The another part is sedimentation by using clarifier and contact. Here we use chemical such as coagulation that is uh, alum or uh, sodium carbonate. Uh, here uh, it, uh, the, the chemical which we used in this uh, water treatment process it makes the it com uh, it makes the smaller particles into larger particles by combining it and makes heavier. So uh, these particles, these heavier particles settle down at the bottom of the sedimentation tank. And the another part of sedimentation process is chemically assisted sedimentation 
or clarification in this process chemicals are added into the water tank or sedimentation tank and uh, the chemical is mixed in such a way that the suspended solids and other impurities combine together and form a heavier particle which settles to the bottom of the basin now let us know how does sedimentation work here uh, the sediment the sediment which is present or the suspended particle which is present in water is removed in such a way that by leaving the water in a sedimentation tank alone without disturbing them for a period of 24 hours after that when the sediment settled down at the bottom of the sedimentation tank then the water is poured into the another tank the clear water that is the fresh water is uh, poured into the another tank and this process is repeated two to three times as needed type of settling depending on the nature of particle to interact and their concentration there are basically four type of settling now what, uh, let us see what is the nature of particle a nature of particles includes a specific gravity size and shear resistance of particles so based on this nature of particles it is classified as discrete particle settling it is also called as type 1 flocculent settling type 2 and hindered settling type 3 and the other is compression settling that is type 4 in discrete settling uh, the particle have a little tendency to flocculate upon contact with each other and hence they do not change their shape size and a specific gravity also the particle settles discreetly that is individually without disturbing another particles uh, it occurs when there is a relatively low solid concentration and the example is given uh, that is removal of grit and sand in wastewater treatment and the another part is type 2 that is flocculent settling here the fluctuation of the particles occur which increase in mass and thus settle at a faster rate here the particles are in contact with each other thus changing in size shape and also a specific gravity as particles settle with other particles the size of particle and their settling velocity uh, disturbed uh, example settling of chemically coagulated waters that is alum and iron coagulation in water treatment and the third one is type 3 that is hindered settling uh, here it occurs when the concentration of the particle in the turbide water is high here the particle uh, the particles maintain their relative positions with respect to each other uh, because of interparticle forces which makes uh, to hold them in fixed position examples lime softening for removal of hardness in water also secondary sedimentation tank and sludge gravity thickener in waste water treatment here the concentration of particle increases from top to bottom leading to thickening of sludge and the other one that is last type is type 4 which is compression settling uh, compression settling refers to a settling in which the concentration of particle is so high where the particles are in physical contact with each other and the result of this is the formation of a structure with lower layer supporting the weight of upper layer here the formation of the structure is supported by the lower layer consequently uh, further settling occurs due to compression of the whole structure of particles and uh, accompanied by squeezing out of water from the pores between the solid particles examples given below uh, bottom thick layer of solid and waste water treatment including sludge gravity thickeners the given figure describe the different type of settling occurs during the process of sedimentation of water treatment first one shows type 1 that is dis discrete settling where the particles get deposited alone at the bottom of the sedimentation tank and the another one is type 2 and type 3 and type 4 which i already explained 
sedimentation tank design parameter to design sedimentation tank the following element are required in the consideration that is overflow velocity detention period flow through velocity dimensions of the tank sludge zone depth efficiency now let us see the design parameter one by one first one is overflow velocity it is denoted by v naught the volume of water applied per unit time per unit horizontal surface area is called overflow velocity it is also called as surface loading rate or surface overflow rate overflow rate or overflow velocity must be less than settling velocity of particle otherwise the particle or sediment will escape without settling and the over and the overflow velocity is calculated from the formula as i mentioned in general uh, the overflow velocity of sediment tank is 12 to 18 meter q per day per meter square now the another one is detention period it is denoted by capital t and defined as the time taken by water to travel from inlet to outlet is termed as detention period or detention time uh, the allowable detention period in the sedimentation tank is 4 to 8 hours and it is calculated by given formula which i mentioned and another one parameter is flow through velocity uh, it is defined as uh, the velocity of water with which it travels from inlet to outlet of sedimentation tank is called flow through velocity as a given figure the uh, the figure shows inlet at uh, one side and outlet at another side the distance between uh, these uh, that is the velocity of water flowing between these is known as flow through velocity the allowable flow through velocity of water in sedimentation tank is 0.005 meter per second and another one parameter is dimensions of sedimentation tank uh, the basin dimensions length breadth and depth of tank are derived from the above volume of the tank and overflow velocity here the breadth of sedimentation tank should be provided is 10 to 12 meters while the length of sedimentation tank should be at least four times of the breadth of the sedimentation tank and the depth of the tank should be 3 to 4.5 meters another one is sludge zone depth it uh, it is used to collect the sludge which is nothing but settled particle uh, it is provided only when the removal of the sludge takes place manually generally it is limited to 0.8 to 1.2 meters the last one design parameter is efficiency efficiency is nothing but the performance of sedimentation tank uh, it is maximum when the maximum amount of suspended particles in the raw water or the impure water are separated in sedimentation tank efficiency purely depends upon the settling velocity and overflow velocity and the efficiency of the sediment uh, sedimentation tank is calculated by the given formula which i mentioned now let us see the working principle of sedimentation tank the main principle involved in the sedimentation tank is to reduce the flow velocity of water which allows the major amount of suspended particle to settle down uh, the velocity with which the particle is settling is known as settling velocity and the amount of suspended particle is collected at the bottom of the tank is based on different factor like shape and size of tank size of particle temperature of water flow velocity detention period etc the settling velocity of particle vs is calculated by stokes law which was obtained from the given equation that is vs equal to under root 4g in bracket rho s minus rho into d divided by 3 cd into rho where vs is settling velocity of the particle g is acceleration due to gravity rho and rho s equal to mass density of water and particle respectively d equal to uh, diameter of the particle cd equal to drag coefficient and it is obtained by knowing the reynolds number for laminar flow 
सी डी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर बाई आर फॉर ट्रांजिशनल फ्लो सी डी इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फोर बाई आर प्लस थ्री बाई रूट अंडर आर प्लस पॉइंट थ्री फोर फॉर टर्बुलेंट फ्लो सी डी इक्वल टू पॉइंट फोर वेर आर इक्वल टू रिनॉल नंबर दैट इज रो वी एस डी डिवाइड बाई म्यू इफ द डायमीटर ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज लेस देन पॉइंट वन एम एम देन इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज लेमिनार फ्लो हिंस फॉर लेमिनार फ्लो इक्वेशन फॉर सेटलिंग वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल आफ्टर सब्सिट्यूटिंग ड्रैग कॉफिशियंट डेट इज सी डी इज वी एस इक्वल टू जी इन ब्रैकेट रो एस माइनस रो इन ब्रैकेट डी स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई एटीन म्यू वी नो ए स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ पार्टिकल डेट इज रो एस बाय रो एंड यूनिट वेट म्यू बाय रो देर फोर वी एस इक्वल टू जी इन ब्रैकेट एस माइनस वन इन ब्रैकेट डी स्क्वायर बाई एटीन gamma similarly when the diameter of the particle is more than 0.1 mm then it is considered as turbulent flow and the equation of the settling velocity is modified as vs equal to 1.8 into in bracket root under g s minus 1 into d as i mentioned thanks for watching and please mention the feedback in the comment box